Solar Century is in business for a purpose. Our mission is to make a meaningful difference in the fight against climate change. And we've really pursued solar as a way of doing that and to, to provide a meaningful way to reduce carbon. But now what we've found that by developing solar parts, we're actually able to address another issue. Um, as the wildlife charities have identified, the, the biggest threat to wildlife in this country is climate change. So by building solar parks, not only are we helping to secure the country's energy future, cut carbon, produce electricity renewably and safely, we're also at the same time providing a haven for wildlife and helping to pr protect them against climate change too. So for each solar park that Solar Century develops, we actually put together a habitat management plan. And that habitat management plan is really focused on how we can improve the ecology at that site from where it is today. We're really pleased to be working with Habitat Aid. Habitat Aid has a network of small producers that have been growing wildflowers uh, and that, that, those wildflowers have now been harvested and will be sown at our solar parks in September. And Habitat Aid have been guiding us as to what we plant where. It's really important that we create a biodiverse environment for the benefit of wildlife at our solar parks. So along with Habitat Aid, we also have a relationship with Bumblebee Conservation Trust and they've also been reviewing our habitat management plans to make sure that we're building the wildflower meadows in the right way that benefits bumblebees and other invertebrates such as uh, butterflies. As we all know, bumblebees and butterflies have been in decline in this country for quite some time and it's really vital to keep their numbers up. They provide a very important role in pollinating our, our food, uh, and they're also a delight to have around the garden. So they like the shade and sunny mix that we have in our solar parks. That's a great environment for them. Uh, and if you live near a solar park, you can expect to see more bumbles and butterflies in your garden soon. <laughs>